I'm Robert Lakin. I'm an aviation attorney, but before I became an aviation attorney, I was a pilot myself. And I'm currently a member of the HAI Safety Working Group. In this spotlight, I'm going to talk about keeping up with drones. Drones are here to stay, and they are selling like hotcakes. Truth be told, most drone operators understand the rules and are dedicated to the safe integration of UAS in the national airspace system. But with the growing number of amateur drone operators, some students still do not understand or follow operating altitude restrictions. So how do you plan to mitigate against the risk of a mid-air collision with a drone? HAI's recommendation is to take the high ride, so to speak. When it's possible, choose to fly at higher cruising altitudes. This will significantly reduce your risk of a mid-air collision with a drone, particularly when errant small drone operators stray above 400 feet. You have no such restriction, so take advantage of it and cruise well above the drones. Give them some extra space and fly to a higher standard of safety. Drones are a great way to introduce children to aviation and spark innovation. Although drones are fun to fly, that toy you're considering for purchase is actually classified as an aircraft by the FAA. And there are important safety rules and tips you'll need to follow. First, any drone flown strictly for recreational purposes that weighs more than about half a pound must be registered with the FAA. You can do this through the FAA Drone Zone. Anyone age 13 and up can register. An adult must register for anyone under 13. Registration costs $5 and is good for three years. Then, mark the drone on the outside with the registration number. After you are registered, make sure you know the basics of flying your drone. Remember to always keep your drone in sight, never interfere with other aircraft, and keep it at or below 400 feet. Since airspace can be confusing, we have a free app called Before You Fly that helps you understand what airspace you're in. If you want to fly in controlled airspace, you'll need authorization from the FAA before you fly. You can learn more on our website, along with videos and safety materials. Welcome to the world of aviation. Fly safe and have fun.